Hey, what's going on uh, YouTube? This is your boy Dark Spartan again doing a uh, unboxing video, and uh, this is really cool. This is actually something that just came out recently, and uh, I've only seen it in one place. But uh, today, I today I just picked up the uh, X Men collection. As you see, it said down there, it's six films. It is uh, X Men, X Two, X Men United, X Men: The Last Stand. X-Men First Class, X-Men Days of Future Past, and uh, X-Men Apocalypse. Uh, it does not have the Wolver uh, X-Men Origins Wolverine or the Wolverine in here. Um, there was a, a, reset, a set that was released, I believe, uh, not before day. I think before Days of Future Past that actually did have a. Uh, uh, that actually did have the Wolverine in there, uh, the Wolverine movies in there, and it was called uh, X Men and the Wolverine uh, Collection. So, but this is really cool. It comes in a really cool uh, slipcase. You see the X with the split down the middle, and it cracks on this side. Again, you got the listing of the movies right there. There's the spine, X Men Collection. Again, you got the listing of the movies. On the back, back you got the X Men symbol. And cool, it opens up. Just slide it out like that. Again, and it comes in this. Uh, and the slipcase is a really hard, really durable cardboard. So, and then it comes in this um, kind of a book like this, kind of like what uh, the uh, Alien anthology came in, which is really cool. And it's basically the same thing side and on the back and then you look inside so you got blu-ray right there houses in its little slit some picture you got a nice little picture of uh this, this one is uh x-men and you got here you got a nice little picture of xavier wolverine and storm the page You got there's X2 X Men United, got Magneto, Rogue, and Cyclops. And to take uh, to take it out, basically, what you do, you spend it down like that. Sorry, I'm just trying to get it to where you can see it. Bend it down like that, and then slide it out. You just want to bend it. You just want to bend it so it gets the, over the lip. And with it being Blu-rays, you don't have to worry about it scratching your disc or anything. So, and it houses them in there pretty good. Page again, and my least favorite of the X-Men movies, at least of this set, of this main series, X-Men: The Last Stand. Yeah. Wolverine, Phoenix, Mix Mystique. You got primary credits down there. Same thing with all the other ones. You got the primary credits right there. Again, right there. So then we flip it again. We get X Men First Class. Young Xavier, Young Magneto, and Sebastian Shaw. But again, and we get X Men Days of Future Past, Mystique, Wolverine, a Sentinel, Quicksilver, and primary credits. Flip the page again. And we got X Men Apocalypse, which I still haven't seen yet. So I'm, I'm actually going to watch it right now. So we got Xavier, Jean Grey, and Apocalypse himself, primary credits. Cool thing about this too is that even though the cover art is basically the same, let me pull this out. You know, it's basically just the X, the, 
the X is actually a different color on each disc. So this one it is black. If you go to this one, it's more of a it's more of a gray. And it's blue when you get the last stand. Kind of fitting with the themes of uh, the color kind of color palette of each film, you know. Get the first class, it's yellow. It's red for Days of Future Past. And this is actually the theatrical cut of, the act the I'm sorry. The theatrical cut of Days of Future Past this is not the rogue cut. So And it's kind of a bummer, you know, because I still haven't seen the road cut yet, but. And then you got like a lighter blue, which fits with Apocalypse here. And then at the end, you got this really cool image here of all the characters. Now this does come with some special features. Um, it also came with the um, with a, a backing or a J card. So when you see it on the shelf, it's actually gonna look like that. So and on the back, just gives you. A, Look at the book, each of the disc, run down to the special features. So, um, a little a kind of synopsis of the entire series where it says the X Men collection contains six blockbuster X Men films, follow the epic story of the X Men, a group of uh, a group of humans with genetic mutations that give them extraordinary abilities, engaged in a constant battle for acceptance in, in society. The X-Men must learn to use their power, powers to fight those out. Those intent on world domination join Professor X, Storm, Jean Grey, Cyclops, and Wolverine as they save themselves and the world from Magneto, Sentinels, and Apocalypse. A powerful mutant whose, vent whose ventral wrath threatens the planet. Okay, and then you've got a list of the extras, and the extras are, okay, so for... Uh, the first X-Men, we got audio commentary by Brian Singer and Brian Peck. Behind the scenes footage, deleted scene and extended scenes with optional commentary. The Mutant Watch featurette. Uh, a Charlie Rose interview with Brian Singer. Animatics, character and production uh, design stills. Uh, basically everything that was ported over from the original X-Men DVD. It is... Uh, yeah, was on the original X-Men DVD has been ported over. Uh, yeah, on X2, X-Men United, you got an audio commentary by Brian Singer and cinematographer, cinematographer Tom Siegel. Audio commentary by producers Lauren Schuler, Don Lauren Schuler Donner and Ralph Winter. And writers Michael Darty and Dan Harris and David Hayter. And uh, that's all I see on there. X-Men The Last Stand, uh, you got an audio commentary by director Brett Ratner, and screenwriter Simon Kimbrick and Zach Penn, audio commentary by producers Avi Arad, Lauren Schuller Donner, and Ralph Winter, and deleted scenes. Okay, so X-Men First Class, you've got, let's see, it's kind of hard to read here, X-March to Spot Viewing Mode, I have not tried that yet, so, uh, Cerebral Mutant Tracker, Children of the Atom Multipart Documentary, Deleted and extended scenes, composer's isolated score. Uh, again, a lot of these been ported over from previous releases. And I say that because X-Men Days of Future Past actually has the sneak peek of Exodus Gods and Kings. A horrible Ridley Scott movie that came out. Uh, I don't even want to go into my thoughts on that. Uh, but, uh, no, the Extras on Days of Future Past are also uh, Double Take, Xavier and Magneto, Sentinels, For a Secure Future, 
X-Men Reunited and more so I haven't gone through all the bonus stuff yet so but I do know that some of it's been a lot of it's been ported over uh, X-Men Apocalypse X-Men Apocalypse it has uh, X-Men Apocalypse on Earth Rap Party Video, Deleted and Extended Scenes with Optional Introduction by Brian Singer, Gag Reel, Audio Commentary by Brian Singer and Simon Kinberg. So, that is that. It also did come with a digital copy of the film. I've already used the digital copy. Which is cool. And the cool thing about it was you put the, the one code in and it gives you the bundle for all six films. Um, didn't say anything about bonus features, so. But yeah, that is the X-Men collection. Really cool to have because I only had X2 in my in my DVD collection and uh, X-Men Origins Wolverine. So really to have the entire set, I just need to track down the Wolverine and uh, Deadpool. But that is it, and until next time, I'm seeing you guys later.